So that's how to feel about the microbiology for this semester. Uh, so microbiology last week we talked about last basically we talked about the very very small things we only can see with the microscope or even maybe with electrical microscope. So that's microbiology. And during that uh, small microorganism, the mainly cause people trouble is bacteria. Certainly they have uh, like virus and fungus, but bacteria is the most important one. So that's we talking about uh, biology. That means we talking about bacteria. So sometimes people confuse it with these two words. Like if they talk about the biology, still the same meaning, microbiology. So that's generally we talking about in our class. That's more go to, go to modern medicine affected, like from modern medicine affected. We're talking about the passengers, but still infected the people in PD anyway. So, microorganism, yeah, microorganism, it's like we're talking about some small things. They can cause the illness. So mainly things, yeah, mainly things. We have five big group. Yeah, we have five big group. We are talking about them one by one. But mostly, pretty commonly, group bacteria and virus. These two is a bigger group. And then we will have fungi. And certainly we have some others that we talk about later. But generally they they separate with five people for microorganisms. Hmm. So these five groups we separated. Yeah, we separated firstly by the size. Yeah, they are different the size. And the smaller one, yeah, smaller one is the virus. So we separate it by size, smaller one is the virus. So we can see the number here is 30, 30 smaller. Even the times to thousands is just like about one millimeter or two millimeter. So it's pretty small number here. And uh, bacteria, yeah, bacteria, little bit bigger, uh, yeah, little bit bigger uh, compared with the virus, but it's still small. It's still small. That's why we call them microorganisms because they are living things. Organisms, this is living things, but it's tiny, tiny small. And the fungi, yeah, fungi, uh, mostly little bit bigger than bacteria. Yeah, you can see the number. They have cross number there. So some maybe little bit bigger than bacteria. Some maybe still smaller compared with bacteria. And then they have another two kinds. Compared with virus and bacteria, it's a small bigger. It's a small bigger. Thus, we separate by the size first. Then we separate, yeah, then we separate to see by their structure. Yeah, by their structure. So for the virus, yeah, for the virus, that's the only one. Without cell, yeah, without cell. When they talking about the cell before, 
with a cell base is an structure. They will have a memory, plasma memory. And they will have carbon nuclear in there. And the DNA inside, that's for like almost all the cell structure. Whatever for animal or for human being. And they also have simple plasma that basically the liquid between the cell memory and the nuclear. And the certainly they have some tiny, tiny small organ kind of things inside the cell that's basically cell structure. So we can see, yeah, so we can see. So for the bacteria, we have these kind of structures. Certainly not the we talked about, not, not only lamidate, like the normal body cell. They may have some other structure. Outside the memory, they will have cell wall. And they also possible have some other structure. And cell connected and a kind of body hair connected with our pity. Yeah. So that's basically, but they have some basic structure for the cell. And the same thing for the gas and the others. But truly for a virus, they don't have cell structure. The next Finish bacterial structure. We're talking about bacterial last uh, Tuesday and also today. So next week we talk about no detail about the virus. But right now, yeah, right now, we did simply remember that we simply remember virus. They don't have cell. That's the only microorganism. We're talking about with our cell structure. And another difference factor with the other microorganisms. Another big difference here. All the other microorganisms, they have both DNA and RNA. But for virus, yeah, for virus, they only have DNA or RNA. No virus have both. So that's another big difference. So that's why virus can really so small yeah, because they don't have cell structure in it. So that's uh, talking about the size different the microorganisms. Then we talking about the shape. Yeah. We especially talking about bacteria right now. Yeah. We talking about we have five different kind of microorganisms generally compared there. Then we especially talking about bacteria object. So that's the class, especially talking about bacteria. So bacteria, the shape, yeah, we're talking about the bacterial shape. I would like to say the shape of bacteria is like a kind of hundreds kind of different shape. It's so complicated. But for us, Especially clinically, like uh, we study, make it easier. We try to separate by the shape with three big categories or three basic groups. So that's like a sample group with another group, something maybe something close there. But we need to try to use our best to separate with two groups and do study 
and then we try to find out especially what kind of bacteria is it cause the people getting sick and how we can prevent it. So that's basically um we try to Google the problem. So we say we group of them with three big categories. The first one, we say the shape basically is rusty. Even sometimes they may not that too rough, like the, like the, that's the, not the picture, that's the basically the two way photo. You can see, uh, it's not that, like we make picture, that's not wrong, but it's still close to wrong. We still call it wrong shape kind of action. So that's uh, the first group. So they talk for like a couple of them together, talk for separate lessons going there. And the post for connected like a chain and the post for connected like a group. They have a lot, a lot of different form. So that's the first group. Then they have side in the group. Yeah, then they have side in the group. So side in the group, we say the long shape. Yeah, long shape. They still say they have the same shape, but generally say they are longer in my side compared with other side. So that's they put the side of the group. So this side of the group here, they still give a the shape. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they shape. Very regularly, you can see the picture here. So that's two connected here. And that's how long it is. Like the measurement is there. So some might be longer, some might be shorter. But generally, I say by the side is longer. So that's the side of the group. And they also Maybe give the shape, yeah, give the shape. They have lots and lots of different shape kind of bacteria in this group. So that's the second group. And the third group, there's another kind of shape. Yeah, they like a Sunday Sunday. Then they say. They put in this group. So that's basically the shape and the size of the bacteria. So all the pictures here is coming from two way photo. It's coming from microscope and even electrical microscope. All the pictures, this size, based on the so that's uh, for the shape and the size of bacteria. Then we're talking about the structure of the bacteria. So structure of the bacteria, uh, we say most bacteria, yeah, most bacteria. So this bacteria model, you yeah, picture now the the photo, but they can clearly show us what the most bacteria they look like, whatever they round or long shape. So basically, we say some basic structure in there. We still remember for bacteria, they will have cells. If we're talking about the cell, they must be have three big parts. Why is the outside the cell cell memory? And the inside the cell nucleus. 
and clean the memory and the nuclear that the fecal plasma of the work is liquid. Uh, you can see here about the eight. Yeah, you can see here about the eight. Eight is a cell. Yeah, it is a single cell. That's the biggest cell. Most cells we are hard to see. Yeah. But truly the eight, we can see the cells structure. So that's like very similar like other cell. They have cell memory. So the like out for the eight outside cell memory, they have a hard part. That's specially for eight. But inside hard part, they still have cell memory. And the center, ADR, that's the nuclear part. Yeah, nuclear part. And the right part of the eight, that's the fecal plasma. Yeah. If the raw eight, if you open it, you can see that's liquid in it. So that's the we talk about cell, we can think about the eight. We are not easily understanding. So let's go by to bacteria. Yeah, bacteria. We say we have cells inside, yeah, they have cell structures there. So they must be have plasma memory. So in the photo or photo here, it's the lens. Uh, look like a green color. Yeah, look like a green color. This lens. They cover the whole bacteria. Yeah, we try to see what's inside clearly. So they open it hardly. Yeah, but they will cover whole bacteria. And the outside of the plasma memory is the cell wall. Cell wall is specially for bacteria. Now the truly is human body cell. And they say when they talking about the cell, they must be have some nuclear. So nuclear in the center and certainly it will be including DNA. Still similar like a human body cell, still have DNA. So pretty similar. So they still have DNA in there. But the different shape is the human body cell DNA. And then they have fecal plasma. Fecal plasma. They say that's a liquid part between the cell membrane and the nuclear. And certainly they have some small organelles. Small organelles. So we have lots of that's the small organelles. So that's these parts pretty similar like the human body cells. And then we talk about outside of cell memory, they have the cell wall, that's especially for bacteria. And the outside cell wall. Some of the bacteria, not most, some of the bacteria, they have another more harder part cover, or more thicker. Yeah, you can see how thicker it is here. That's usually we call it capsule. Like the machine we eat, capsule. So that's for bacterial body part. And the pretty outside of the cell wall or cell capsules, some of the bacteria they may have a couple of the pretty long cells. And some of the bacteria even have more, like hundreds. And they also have some smaller. Also have some smaller, few hundred, like body hair on the superficial of the bacteria. That is how big it is. 
filled up with the base is the structure of the bacteria. Base is the structure of the bacteria. So we just leave the here. Yeah, we just leave the here. Up to here. So that is for most bacteria. And that's for most bacteria. We have a special kind of bacteria we're talking about the last week. This is for most growth in some special condition. Usually, whole nutrition for the bacteria. So we say they originally shape, still like other bacteria, still have boundaries, still have nucleus. You have cytoplasma or even cell wall and even capsules and other structure. But when their environment changing, we talk about the environment changing for bacteria, means they don't have enough nutrition for bacterial living. So then they can form the spot. First, it's more simple organism, microorganism, organism. So basically, they did have DNA in the inside, but a pretty, pretty thin kind of cover, protected, protected, that's the cover, and a little bit liquid in there. Yeah, you can think about the cytoplasma. But a tiny, tiny battery. They don't have other structure in it. So the spores can live in very, very long term, like some special kind of bacteria. The spores even can live in more than 10 years without like metabolism. They just hold in there. So, but when the environment's changing, they say whole nutrition bacteria will change into spot. When food nutrition is coming, an uh, example, yeah, uh, example, some bacterial spot holding in the soil, holding the soil, but sometimes People do some gardening or whatever uh, by accident, cutting the finger, and also cutting some salt or herbs there. If I did talk about the if, uh, if in that area, if in that area, by occasionally have some bacterial spots in there, and then by occasionally go to people's finger. Lot of blood in there, certainly a lot of nutrition in the air for bacteria. So these kind of spores can change inside to bacteria again. And the reproduction to lot of bacteria. Still spores stay. They are not reproduction. Like one spores in there. This keep the number one. They are not reproductive, not copy. But when they change in back, they will copy again, reproduce again, and cause a lot, a lot of bacteria in people's body, especially low cholera, and cause the severe kind of illness. So that's also happens. So that only happens Excuse me, Titi. May I ask a question? Oh, go ahead. Did you see it is small but lived for more than a year or two years? I didn't hear clear. Even, yeah, even the bacteria, they live maybe even a time. Yeah. yeah. So they can be a few years, they can more than 10 years. Oh, more. Few years or more than 20 years. Oh, okay. Thank you. Possible kind of a year, possible mm -hmm. kind of year, the longer one, even more than 10 years. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty long. They just live in there, they are now died. You'll never know like how long they stay there already. Yeah. So that's like your fault. So that's the same thing. We talking about their wall and the genetic in the shape and the cytoplasma memory. Yeah. And uh, uh, their wall basically the function we did talk about the basic measurement is the shape of the cell. But for the cytoplasma memory, we have more functions here. Uh, they it performing special functions. So cytoplasma memory function. We still talk about pretty similar, like normally human body cell memory. So for human body cell memory. Do you have transport function? Means something passing through the cell memory, go to inside. And also we talk now about before for human body cell, something go outside, passing the memory. Uh, another two functions, another two functions, they say it can generate Anibis. So some material passing through the cell memory, they need anibis. So that kind of transport we call active kind of transport. So active kind of transport means they need to use anibis. So where the anibis coming from? Is producing by the memory. Yeah, it's producing by the memory. So they can produce in some energy and then they use for transport. And they also can produce or maintenance the cell wall. We say most of bacteria, they will have another layer outside of cell memory. That's we call cell wall. So cell wall maintenance is uh, or producing is uh, by the cell memory. And they also can produce or saturation some adenine and toxin. So these kind of adenine and toxin usually are like uh, the bacterial in making human body tissues, so they may damage human body tissues or cells. So that's the function for the bacterial memory. When we talk about function here, it not means everything good for the human being. It's good for the and uh, inside the cytoplasma, we say we have a lot of mainland regions. Yeah, mainland regions. But uh, truly, we can see something in there. Uh, it's kind of close to nuclear, but uh, much simple. Yeah, much simple. So we call it a nucleotide. And that area, they have DNA. And also, they have some nutrition. nutrition. They have some public device so they there. And another two important one, we call one, we call lockdown. Another one we call plastic. So this tool is going to be more important. It's going to be more important for bacterial lineage. And 
how they can interact with each other. They still, they still separate with like female, female, and the male. Yeah, they, they, they are different things. They are different things. They carry each other. It's the fact you know, new things. Uh, fact you know, we talked about already. They see inside and the seat cover outside and protected yeah. resistance to the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Resistance, so spouse can resistance to the heat, can resistance uh, to dehydrated, can resistance to the radi radiation, can resistance to the chemical. Look like nothing can kill them. So that means pretty bad things for the human beings. Because they cause the illness. So that's the thought forming. And then we're talking about the bacterial growing circle. Bacterial growing circle. Oh, bacterial growing way. So bacterial growing way, we say nothing relationship with like a female bacterial or male bacterial. Just a single bacterial they can reproduce by itself. Pretty similar to what we talking about the body cell division before. One cell they copy their DNA and then they separate and then they form two acquired things like uh, their father or mother's cell. So this single cell, they can perform it. So reproduction, yeah. Pretty fast, yeah, pretty fast. So that's uh, the cells growth in circle. So that's why bacteria cause people sick pretty fast, like some people so that's the way the bacterial growth is normally look like they're getting more and more, more and more, bigger and bigger, you are not enjoy. But if we try to calculate Means we take some bacteria in some special kind of container. Certainly, we, we need to use instruction or sanitizer first. Make sure no other bacteria or microorganism in there first. And then we put just a couple of bacteria in there. In that way, we calculate the bacteria. So we still have some nutrition in there, but we still have some nutrition in there. So bacteria from the beginning, from the beginning, they did in there, they did a super for the environment changing. So they didn't see a lot of bacteria in there. But later on, because they use the better way, they will go to lot of in there. Pretty fast. So then they got pretty lot of bacteria in there. But later on, like the nutrition not enough to support too many too many bacteria to reproduction. So they go to stable state. And then even no more nutrition in there, the amount will be decreased. So that's the last week we see that video. We see that video. So that's the way we calculate bacteria. So we say normally in the superficial of the human being, we have yeah, we have some bacteria. Yeah, we have some bacteria. Just living in the superficial of the 
There are now the rules that we were talking about before, that you know bigger, 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 bigger. Yeah. They take the same amount, yeah, they take the same amount, kind of balance here. Yeah. So that's the use, that's the word. No more flora. Yeah, no more flora. So no more flora means normally we're talking about bacteria. And also we're talking about the fungi. So that we talking about, they may take some normal balance in outside of the superficial of the body, even some inside of the body, like a large contact. Yeah. Normally, they have bacteria in there. And like in or south air, inside the most boundary air, we still have bacteria in there. But no more, it don't cause the illness. So that kind of surgery, we say that no more flora, no more flora. That means some bacteria normally can stay in or outside of the body or maybe inside of the body, but they are not cause the illness. So no more flora, usually we're only talking about bacteria and fungi. We are not truly talking about other microorganisms. So microorganisms, yeah, we say mainly we're talking about the bacteria or virus, or maybe from that or whatever. Uh, so not all the microorganisms will cause the illness. We say around of us in the environment, we have thousands or even millions of the microorganisms. But not all the mechanisms, it will cause people sick or illness. Only part of them, yeah, only part of them will cause people sick or illness. So if the microorganism, including all of them, all of them, if they cause the people sick or illness, then we call that kind of microorganism. Whatever bacteria or virus or fungus is a patent. So, what means patent? Patent means microorganism. It can cause people sick or illness. So, that's basically. And we say some of the organisms. They always cause the people sick or illness. Some of the organisms, they may occasionally cause the people sick or illness. We talk about some like bacterial nature. Like normally they stay in the body, but normally not cause the illness. In some special kind of nature, they may cause the illness. But what I were, when they cause the in, they cause a pattern. Then we come in talking about poster decision. Poster here, we're talking about the human body. What do you mean, post? Yeah. Some microorganism living inside of the body, or maybe on the superficial outside of the body, they post them. So this means the human body. So they say some microorganisms may be cause the illness. We must have some decision to adjust them to protect the whole body. Otherwise, people will get sick every day or maybe die. So luckily, yeah, luckily, we have a special system in 
but another way is an identity or with a legendary digestion. So they say no more that we have no more flour. We're talking about but you will and the new way they will dub of the new. But the true way, yeah, true way, some bacteria in some special kind of condition, they may cause the new. Like some kind of people cutting their skin, or maybe sometimes some, some other action, then they will cause the new. But whatever they cause the illness, whatever they cause the illness, they will go inside the woman's body first. And then they like away from or variation from the body from funding, like from skin and the stomach acid. So they say, Stomach I usually do not like it, but uh, recently started some special kind of virus recently in the stomach. And then they say they go in first, and then they will attack in the body cells of the tissue, and then they live in there. And when they grow thin, there's a lot of in there, they cause clinic symptoms. When they cause clinic symptoms, our immunity system will have reaction. And depending, before the immunity system is strong, it will not cause the immune. If the bacteria or toxin is strong over the immunity system, People will cause the sick or illness. So that's uh, still violence there. Still violence there. And some slabs will be started for like a working, talking about antibiotics. antibiotics. They may work in for the bacterial cell wall, they may work in for the bacterial for skin, they may work in for the bacterial nuclear acid. Let me see a part. They may working for the cell memories. Yeah. So different kind of antibiotics, they may working for different part of the bacteria, for different uh, bacteria. And we're talking about the vaccine. Uh, bacterial vaccine is the only way we prevent some severe kind of illness. We have active kind of immunity or vaccine, or we have positive kind of protection. So active or active immunity. Basically, we talking about the vaccine, the vaccine. Like we use something in Looks like a passenger, but not a passenger. Yeah, it's not called the illness. This how people immunity system reaction. So that uh, they say that the uh, active kind of immunity, passive kind of immunity, we directly use antibody. Yeah, directly use antibody. We say we talk about this part detail later. Passenger. Uh, antigen and antibody. Yeah, antigen and antibody. Active kind of immunity, like uh, antigen. Yeah, like uh, antigen. And the positive kind of uh, antibody, like we directly use antibody. Yeah, we try to remember these two words right now. We talk about some detail later. Sometimes we use both together. Sometimes we use both together. We use both antigen 
and also antibody. Okay. We're still talking about the detail, which, like what kind of situation we specially look for. Then we're talking about sentinization and the disease function. They are both the way we kill or remove the microorganism. But remember, yeah, remember, the sanitization, the sanitization, it will be kill all the microorganisms. Including bacterial spots, yeah, including bacterial spots. But this infection only kill most of them, yeah, only kill most of them. And uh, certainly they couldn't kill the spots. They say spots, yeah, spots, they have a big, big, big power and resistant to heat, resistant to hibernation, resistant to the radiation, resistant to a lot of other things. So if we try to kill the spot, we must be used a special kind of method. So how we can do it? How we can do it? So usually like high pressure, yeah, high pressure, High temperature. And even a little bit longer time. At least 15 minutes. So, in this way, in this way, we can kill all the bacteria or microorganisms, including the spots. Including spots. So, that usually we use for some. Like a tools, like a, we use the needles, or maybe the surgery use the knife or whatever. Because in that kind of condition, or needles for the inside body, we need to make sure no microorganism will follow our needles go in inside of the body. We need specially to kill all the microorganisms. Including the spots. That's the way we use to kill all the microorganisms. And another way, yeah, and another way, we talk about the disinfection. We say disinfection will kill most of the microorganisms. That's another way we are commonly used. Like before we do acupuncture, we use alcohol to clear local. Or we use the hand sanitizer to clear our skin. So that belongs to this infection and a way to show microorganisms. So still come the use. So depending what we use, yeah, depending what we use. So that's 